So the first recipe we're going to be making is this berry oatmeal. So this has been my absolute favorite breakfast lately, if I have a bit more time to make breakfast. It's still pretty easy to make, but it is so tasty, especially in combination with the toppings. So you're going to add all the ingredients to a pan and then cook the oatmeal for about 10 minutes on low heat. So I like my oatmeal pretty thick, but you can always make it a bit more runny by adding some more vegan milk. Just make sure you stir occasionally so that it won't stick to the bottom of the pan. So once the oatmeal is done, we're going to add it to a bowl and I'm going to add my favorite toppings. So yogurt on oatmeal is so good, I always add it, it's just so tasty. You guys have to try that combo if you haven't tried that before. So I use this vegan yogurt from Alpro, which is pretty thick. Then I also add some walnuts, some chia seeds and any fresh food that I have. So in this case it was kiwi and some raspberries. And then lastly I add some maple syrup. So the second breakfast we're going to be making are these blueberry pancakes. So I really love to make pancakes on a Sunday morning in the weekend. I pretty much have pancakes every Sunday morning if I have the time to make them and they are so yummy. So normally I would make these in a blender but my blender recently broke so I had to just mix all the ingredients in a bowl. You can see that the texture is pretty grainy because of this. It's not very smooth, so just make them in a blender and you will have a perfectly smooth texture. So once you've mixed all the ingredients, you're just going to heat up a non-stick pan and add a bit of the batter in it. Then we're going to add some blueberries to it and just a bit more batter on top to cover the blueberries. So you're going to cook them on low heat for a few minutes on each side. And you can flip them when they start to look a bit dry from above and some bubbles form. So the last breakfast we're going to be making is this tofu scramble on toast. So you're going to start by getting as much water out of the tofu as possible. You preferably use a tofu press for this, but you can also just wrap it in a few kitchen towels and put a heavy weight on it for a few minutes. Then you're going to bake up the tofu into smaller pieces with your hands so that it looks like a scrambled egg texture. Then I'm going to add some oil to a pan, add the tofu and we're going to add some herbs to make it taste good. So I'm not going to be adding any salt at this point since we're going to add some black salt later on. And black salt is going to give the tofu a eggy flavor but it also has a really strong salty flavor. So I'm not going to be adding salt now because it will be way too salty. So just add these herbs. So you're going to cook your tofu for at least 5 minutes on medium heat. 
So then we're going to be adding some veggies. So I just got up some onions, some tomato, and I'm also going to be adding some frozen spinach. So I just quickly cooked the frozen spinach in a pan to defrost it and make sure there is not a lot of water left. I use frozen spinach because it's way more handy than fresh spinach because fresh spinach comes in a huge bag and I can never like finish the entire bag and then I'm left with like half of a bag of spinach and it just rots in my fridge and yeah <laughs> it's just way easier to use frozen spinach. Then we're going to cook everything for another five minutes to cook the veggies as well. And then lastly, we're going to add the black salt. So you only want to add a tiny bit because it has a really strong flavor. And I always add it after I'm done cooking it because otherwise the flavor just is not as strong as when you add it while you're cooking. Because the longer you cook it, the less strong the flavor becomes, I think. So I just add it in the end. And then I serve my tofu scramble on some toast. And I also add some spring onion to it. 